In Creo Parametric, there's outdated functionality called Envelopes and the Envelope Manager. I'm covering this functionality for two reasons. First off, completeness, so that if you ever see these commands in the ribbon, you understand what they're used for. And secondly, you might still see envelopes in the model tree of an old assembly and have wondered what the heck those are. So envelopes are a method used for simplified representations, which is part of large assembly management. If you take a look at the assembly that I've got open on the computer screen, some of the parts have some complexity. And 20 years ago, this kind of geometry could choke a computer. And so you had to use all these different techniques in order to be able to open up and manipulate very large complex models. And envelopes were one of those different ways. Envelopes are a way of substituting any or all of the components in an assembly with a much less complicated part model. Let's take a look at how to create that. So if you go to the Manage Views Overflow menu, here we have the Envelope Manager command. When I click on it, it opens up a dialog box that will list any envelopes that you have in your model. Again, those are part models that are used to substitute for a number of different components in the assembly. In this dialog box over on the right hand side, you see this option for create default. And when you click on that, you get a dialog box. It asks for the name of the envelope and the name of the part. So those are going to be two separate entities, the part and the envelope. And you can give it a common name, which is a description using real words in order to describe what the part is. But I'm going to leave that blank. Let's click the OK button. And when I do that, we get the creation options dialog box where you can choose what template that you want to use. I will simply click OK out of there. And then we get this info dialog box and it says shrink wrap component subset will default to the envelope definition subset. To alter the envelope's geometrical level detail, edit the shrink wrap subset. Long way of saying that, hey, if you want to create a default envelope, it's going to use a shrink wrap. I'm not going to go to all the different kinds of shrink wraps that you have in here, but you can watch my videos on shrink wraps. Let's create a very simple shrink wrap. Here the default collection method is auto collect all solid surfaces. I'm just going to go to the outer shell and I'm going to use a very low level of detail. I'm going to leave the level as one and not add any other additional options inside of here. By default, the default envelope is going to use all the components in the assembly. If you did not want to shrink wrap all the components, you could use the subset button in order to bring open the shrink wrap components dialog box. Again, I cover shrink wraps in another video. I'm not going to go through any of that. Yes, let's cancel out of there. Let's just hit the check mark in order to create this very simple shrink wrap that we can use to substitute. And you briefly saw a preview of the geometry that would be created. Here is the envelope that I made listed in the envelope manager. Let's close the envelope dialog box. And if you take a look down at the bottom of the model tree, we see the envelope listed in there. If I left click on it from the mini toolbar, you can choose to open this up in its own separate window. And here is that shrink wrap of quality level one. Yes, it's very crude. But this lightweight representation can give you a visual idea of what the components in this assembly look like. So you could use it in a simplified rep. Let's close this window. And now we're back to the original subassembly. Creating an envelope does not create a simplified representation. But we could use that envelope as a simplified rep in a higher level assembly. Let me go to the assembly that contains this subassembly, and then I can right click on it in the model tree. Then underneath representation, here we can choose to use the default envelope that I just created. And in this dialog box, it would list any different envelopes that you have. I only have one, so I can select the radio button for that one envelope, and then click the OK button. And now we are using that default envelope as the simplified rep for this component. As a matter of fact, let me go to the tree columns icon. 
By the way, this is the icon for tree columns in Creo 9.0, big change. Let's go to the drop down list and change our type to simplified reps. I'm gonna add a column for the current rep and then click the OK button. And so now we can see that the subassembly uses the default envelope rep inside of here. Okay, let's go back to the subassembly and talk about some of the other different ways of creating an envelope. Let's go to the Manage Views dropdown. Here is the Envelope Manager. I will create a new envelope. And when I do it this time, we get the Envelope Definition dialog box. Let me make this a little bit wider. And for this dialog box, by default, all the components are excluded. Now, one thing to note, when I created the default envelope using the shrink wrap method, it automatically included all the components. And this one, it automatically excludes them all. I'm just gonna click on the top line and change exclude to include so that all the different components will be in this envelope. And then the next step, this is a little tricky, here we have a button for creating the envelope part. If you just click the open button, you're gonna get an error. Let's click on envelope part, and then we get the envelope method dialog box, and the bottom three are different versions of shrink wraps. Surface subset, faceted, and all solid surfaces. Again, I've got a video on shrink wraps if you wanna go through these different methods. Here we have the other two options, create envelope part. I'm gonna show that in a moment, but I'm going to show one that you don't want to use. Here is select existing assembly component. If you do this, you're going to pick an existing component in the assembly to use as your envelope. The problem with doing that is the component is no longer going to be visible when you're working on the assembly because it's going to be used as the envelope. So for example, let's say I decide, hey, let's use the engine block. It's representative of the general shape of my assembly. Let me use that. When I click the OK button, it says, the selected component will become invisible in the assembly. Confirm your choice. No, I don't want to do this. Trust me, the only reason that you want to use an existing component is if you created a part specifically intended to be used as the envelope. Let me cancel out of here. And I'm gonna cancel out of here for a moment. Yeah, I wanna cancel. And now I'm back to the envelope manager. Let's take a look at the other method that was listed in there. Let's click on the new button. And once again, I'm going to choose to include all components. Then click on the envelope part. In the envelope method, I'm going to choose to create a brand new envelope part. You can give it a name and a common name. I'm just going to click the OK button. And then we have our creation options dialog box. Once again, I will use copy from existing to specify my default template and click the OK button. And then to locate this new component, I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button and choose default constraint and then hit the check mark just so that it is located at the origin. If you take a look at the bottom of the model tree, here we can see that new part created, but it doesn't have any geometry. If you click the open button out of the envelope definition dialog box, you'll get an error that, hey, your part doesn't create any geometry. So the next step is to click on this envelope geometry button in the upper right hand corner. Yeah, I know, not exactly obvious, but hey, you click on that and now you get the envelope geometry tab with all the different tools that you have for creating the feature. Let me just create a simple extrude. I'm gonna turn on my datum plane visibility. Let's create a sketch on this, nope, not that one, this datum plane. And I'm going to hit the sketch button. And I'm just gonna use the project command, which got an overhaul in Creo 9, just to create a very simple sketch. Let me select this edge in the model and I'm gonna hold down the shift key to get that chain and then hit the check mark. And then let's just close off the loop with a simple line. And again, it's not gonna look like the geometry, but at least it's gonna give me something that I can use. 
All right, so I've got my sketch created. Let's hit the check mark. Let me turn off my datum plane display and hit the extrude button. And then let's change the depth to, to reference. And I'm just going to rotate the model and pick a surface. And by the way, when I did use envelopes in the past, this is a very common method I would use where I would just create some kind of sketch that was basically indicative of the shape of the assembly. Yeah, I know if you take a look at this extrude, it doesn't really look like the shape of the assembly, but you get the point that I am trying to make. Now, here's a little something that you might not notice over on the right hand side of the tab. There is a check mark. This looks like the model tab, but it does have the check mark in order to indicate that you are finished completing geometry for the envelope part. I will hit the check mark. And so now we can see a preview of what's going to be included. Let me turn that off and that way, well, doesn't really give us anything. Let's turn that back on. Uh, so anyhow, this is what would be in my envelope definition. I can click on the open button. And now I have my second envelope in here. You'll notice that there is a little bit of an indication in here that we have a default envelope. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, creating an envelope does not create a simplified representation. So let's take a look at two different ways in which we can create the simplified rep. I will click on the close button. And now to create the simplified rep using the envelope, we can go to the manage views button and I'm on the simplified rep tab and I will choose the new button. And just so I can see what this is, let me call this envelope one and hit the enter key. And then we get the component chooser dialog box inside of here. By default, it is going to exclude all of the different components. I'm going to go to the show drop down list. And here it shows the active and inactive components. But there's also an option in here for envelopes. Show the envelope models. If I scroll down in the list of components, you don't see the envelope in here. When I check envelopes, then I do see the different envelopes. And then I can right click on one of these. Let me select the first one. Let me, oh no, let's use this one. I'll right mouse click on the second one and then set representation to and then use envelope. And so now it's going to use that extrude in the part as the simplified rep. So let's choose the open button. And so this is the envelope that I created. Let's go back to the master rep. And now I'll show you the second way of creating the envelope rep. Let's click on the new button and I will call this one envelope underscore two. Hit the enter key. And for all these different components, I'm just going to click on the open button. So now I have an empty simplified rep. If you click on the properties button, here we can see that we have the cylinder block and the current status is that it is excluded. If you go to this drop down list, there are a few icons. Only one is active and this is to substitute by envelope and I can choose the envelope that I created and then click the OK button. And so now it is using that extrude to substitute for all the different components. Let's click on the list button to go back to the list of simplified reps. There is a plus sign next to the name of the simplified rep, meaning that you have to save it. So I can right click and choose save. And I'll save it under the same name and click OK. And then close. All right, let's go back to the master rep because, again, that's a really, really crude envelope that I created. So I'll go back to the master rep and then close out of the simplified rep dialog box. OK couple things to note about those envelopes again they appear in the model tree but they're actually not components in the assembly so again if you see any of these different envelopes in the assembly don't worry about it screwing up your bill of materials if you don't want to see them go to your tree filters and in the new tree filters dialog box on the general tab here's the option if you don't want to see envelope components in the model tree and you see that they went away in here.
but even if they are visible in the model tree if you were to generate a bill of materials they will not appear in there so for example if i go to the tools command here we have bill of materials and i'll generate it for the top level and cl then click the ok button we'll have our bill of materials but neither of those envelope parts appear in either of the tables either for the summary or for the structured view of the assembly all right so there you have it that's how you can create the simplified reps and the envelopes in the particular sub assembly uh, let's go back to the higher level assembly for a moment so let's say that i wanted to use a different envelope inside of here well we can right click and hold and then choose representation I already showed how to specify the default envelope but you can also go to user defined and here are all the different simplified reps that exist in that sub assembly i can click one of the ones that i made and then choose the ok button and so now it is using that crude extrude in order to define it and let's say that you no longer want the columns to appear in the model tree hey let's go to our tree columns button grab the column and then move it over and then click the ok button but you still have the indication on the computer screen in the lower left hand corner of the graphics area that we have modified the master representation because we are using a subassembly simplified rep so there you have it that's the old outdated functionality for envelopes and the envelope manager.